every generation can rightfully be judged by how well its people prepare their children. In America today, we are understandably concerned for our children and view education as a primary means to prepare them well. We want them to succeed in their own right, feel and be confident, and look forward with hope and optimism. We want to keep our country great, and we want our children to progress beyond what we accomplished by preparing them for a challenging future. What you are about to see is an example of this desire put in action with measurable results. It was started by everyday parents and teachers with an uncommon belief that the well-being of every child is directly connected to the quality of relationships the child has with influential adults in his and her life. And the better the relationship between these adults, the more significant the degree of support felt by the child. I feel a lot like the schools kind of teach to the bottom. If some kids are never doing their homework, every kid gets dragged down by that circumstance. These people recognized that school teachers are influenced by an ever-changing array of new policies and practices, that children are influenced by the changing structure of family and mounting pressures on parents. These changes, along with economic factors and ethnic uniqueness, often make families and schools extremely divergent thus creating a large distance between them. I can see from my perspective that families aren't necessarily as involved or they expect the teacher to do so much that they aren't doing as much as they could at home. It puts the kids where they're enabled to not do anything at school and not do anything at home and then everybody blames everybody else instead of everybody kind of working together. To prevent this possibility, these parents and their teacher decided the best course was to close the distance. They selected three goals. One, they wanted to improve their children's learning abilities, such as memory, problem solving, and other reasoning capabilities. Two, they hoped to help children acquire new and better achievement skills, such as goal setting, methods of organizing, and managing time. Three, they committed themselves to help children develop positive social skills and character traits such as cooperation, honesty, responsibility, and integrity. Oh, I think that if we did educate the families and they, and they could teach this in the homes and teachers would do this in their classrooms, everyone would be successful. The kids would be successful and those families would be successful. But juxtaposed to that, I have found students in my classroom who don't have a family structure whose families aren't involved and won't be involved who really want this because at least it's some structure for them. Together, parents and teacher created a home and classroom environment that matched each other. Improved study habits, completed homework from more students, and more appropriate conduct soon appeared. Yet greater interest to both parents and teacher were the resulting improved motivation and increased attention to the task of learning. My motivation, I think, has gone up. I like in a higher level, I've been more into it because I want to study more and I've been writing notes and I've been listening a lot better and doing all the lessons that we've learned and the positive attitude has helped me a lot in class to get my motivation going better. I've been noticing that people aren't like reading during class that much anymore and I've been trying to write better and it's actually getting better because I've been practicing it. I've been able to work on my work better and like not be distracted by other people because we know that we're supposed to be working and not doing other things and my handwriting is getting better because we've been talking about that and I actually think about it now more. I've learned that it hurts people's feelings if you don't really include them and I've noticed it helps our class if we all work together and so we all just help each other with our work but not like give each other answers to cheat. We just sort of challenge them a little bit. I think I'm more motivated now because of all the class discussions and how people have been a lot kinder to me and trying to be my friend. After reaching and surpassing their first level of achievement, 
it became clear to the students that they could do more. They raised their expectations and confidently organized to accomplish new goals. This may seem like a simple thing or something routine, but it is actually a revolution. The thing that, that I've seen as an improvement with her is, and this is just a, just a simple example, is I can say, okay, you know, Tia, it's time to get up. The alarm will ring, Tia, it's time to get up. And she'll respond to me now and she will say, Mom, I'm up. And that lets me know where before it was just continual, Tia, get up, Tia, get up, Tia, get up. It's a simple, tiny thing, but I want to keep her going on the right track and realizing how much it's helping me as a parent. The class knows who the struggling students are, and they almost protect them. They almost go and they want to cover and help them. They want to make sure there's no one left behind and, and no one's out there by themselves. They'll help them with math, they'll help them with reading. In particular, socially, they'll help them out on the playground. They'll help them at the lunchroom. They just don't want to see anyone left behind, left out. But if you're teaching someone else something, then it helps you remember it more. So if I'm teaching someone else, then it's helping me because then I'll remember it better. Parents described better communication and improved feelings in their families. The teacher told of improved achievement, better conduct, and incidents of students policing themselves to make certain they all showed more respect for each other. Adults described more confident and assured children, and a stronger sense of unity with others. I think it's an easy program because the two basic things of it's helpful or it's harmful. The class meetings are, they take very little time. Um, once you get it started, it's a program that will carry itself and so you can have a class meeting pretty much scheduled once a week but the great thing is you can just do a quick class meeting when you need to and you can say something and just draw from that lesson when something happens in the classroom and you can just hit it immediately and they are respectful of that and they understand that we need to address something. I think that this has impacted me as a parent totally positively because as a parent I am working on the things that we're learning about too and so when we teach about respect and being accountable I realize that that applies to me too and that if I want to really be a good mother I have to be accountable for the choices I make in regards to parenting my children and one thing I have noticed with Bryce and I in particular is we are communicating about the children and about where our family is going a lot more a lot more because we're saying, okay, we're working on this. How do you think it's working in our family? Are we doing well at it or are we, do we need to teach it again, improve there? And I just think that that has been a tremendous thing for our marriage and also helping our family move forward. We're not just coasting along hoping everything turns out okay. You know, we're, we're consciously working at what can we do to make our family better. Definitely think Bo's attitude towards school is better. I think that he was feeling kind of discouraged for a while, like he was always behind or somebody was always mad at him or he wasn't doing what he was supposed to be doing. And I think since I've been communicating better with the schools and they've been communicating better with him and me, sending things home, he doesn't feel that he's in trouble all the time. I think he really felt like if they said something to him, he was in trouble. As a parent, it makes me feel, honestly, more like I'm doing my job. <laughs> it does, it makes me feel um, like I'm giving her some, some tools that she needs. Um, it makes me feel good because I know that these are things that she's gonna need. Seeing these positive character traits at the same time they were succeeding in school was, for most, the best measure of success. The influential adults in their lives had joined themselves and prepared their children with the results being more than they first had dared to hope. It happened because they closed the distance.